Great morning, my extremely great champions. Hope you're all feeling massive pride and massive success today. We are gonna look at the top five push-ups for a better body, plus the top five push-up styles. If you don't know who we are, I'm Ryan. You probably recognize me as the lead actor from Herd 118 in The Walking Dead. And this is Kenzo, my son, the greatest champion in the world, Lalita, my wife, the best thing that's ever happened to me. And we're here in Thailand, living our dream, making videos every single day. And all we wanna do is add massive value to your life, massive value to the channel. So hit subscribe and let's take it to the next level. Before jumping into which is the best push-up, let's understand exactly where a push-up actually builds muscle. A push-up is predominantly a chest exercise, but it also builds some tricep and core. When it comes to executing the most effective push-up, there are always four elements that get forgotten about. Number one is the breathing. When you go down, you gotta breathe in. When you come up, you gotta breathe out, like so. So come in, coming down. In addition to the breathing, the stance is imperative. When you do a push-up, you need to have stability and structure. A lot of times you see people trying to execute the push-up where the stance is not wide enough. You see, the aim of a push-up is to develop a large drum-like chest, like the Royal Oak. In such an instance, you need to have a wide grip. <sighs> Thirdly, I've seen the most incredible mountainous formations with the back. Don't do that. What you do want to do is you want to have a straight back. So this is a big no-no. This, yeah, yeah, is fantastic. Finally, the pace. There's nothing less effective than rapid action or rapid fire push-up like so. It always needs to be controlled, confident, and secure. You can possibly even consider adding the flush in at the bottom, but we'll get to that next. Going in order from life-changing to life-altering, starting at number one, we have the interset push-up. So pretty much what this does is keep your muscles hot and unrested in between sets. And what this kind of push-up would be ideal for is the most magnificent add-on to the traditional bench press and will look like so. Coming in at a close number two is the decline push-up, which just like number one, uh, can also be used as an interset exercise and makes the perfect partner that accompanies the incline press. The decline press, which I'm gonna show you right now, is the ideal push-up when you perfectly, and in a, in a laser-like fashion, wanna zone in just on the upper chest. When it comes to the decline push-up, never has it been more important to keep your back straight and focus on your breathing, like this. Coming in at number three is the close grip or the diamond push-up, which is more of a tricep exercise than a chest exercise. Nonetheless, again, your stance and your positioning and core strength is vital. So here, you're gonna be positioning your hands directly below your neck and breathing in as you go down and focusing on the power of your upper arms. If you experience a shooting pain that enters via your shoulder and transmutes to your neck, that means that you're completely on course. We've had to come outside again because those guys inside the gym were really enjoying having Kenzo running around everywhere. Anyway, coming in at number four, we've got the partial rep or the partial push-up. And while many may think that this is a cheat exercise, it is in fact a highly specialized push-up. And what it does is it actually centers all of the attention on chest width as opposed to chest narrowness.
Remaining in your sweet spot is essential. And the fact that you don't fully extend means that you don't rest. And the fact that you don't ever rest means that you've got permanent tension on your chest. And that is why this kind of push-up comes in at number four. And finally, we end off with number five with the push-up flush, which is by far the most effective push-up known to man. Arnold Schwarzenegger himself used to end off every single exercise that he did with the flush. All the flush simply is, is pumping massive amounts of blood and nutrients into that specific muscle directly after the set. So in this case, after doing incline press, bench uh, press or decline press, whatever your uh, pec deck, whatever your, your chest exercise variation for that training period is, you end up with a static pose until absolute failure. And pretty much you just keep that position until absolute failure. And what that does is after you've done your bench press, after you've done your incline press, after you've done your flies, you're basically completely annihilating the muscle by holding that static pose. And what this does is just causes massive amounts of density, thickness, and definition. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. We're gonna jump in the pool, head on up and grab something to eat. If we've added any value to you whatsoever, please hit subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys tomorrow.